because you also interviewed one of your idols, tennis superstar. Tell me, tell me about that. I actually uh, thought, let me go one better and let me request an interview with Stefano Tsitsipas. Now, it's very difficult in the media, requesting interviews is one of the hardest parts of the job with high-flying people, politicians, sports stars, um, wealthy business people or, or, or billionaires or millionaires. Is that just because they're so busy or they're hard to get a hold of? What makes that part quite difficult? Well, they're busy, but also they only do a select amount of interviews. Um, and if they say yes to every interview request they get, it's impossible. Yeah. So they're select. Um, and it's, it's difficult to get big name rugby league stars on or you only get the Prime Minister on a couple of times a year cut times a year because he's busy or international sporting stars. So Team Greece had come out here. Um, it just happened that the day that they were doing this open media conference, I was a fill-in host on Wide World of Sports. So another opportunity I've, I've received through 2GB is to fill in every now and again on the sports show and um, it's a one-hour program. We, we do interviews, we do editorial, we do a bit of everything. So I got the chance to host on this one particular Friday, the day this media conference was on. And I thought, I'm going to try and land a, a big interview guest in Stefanos Tsitsipas. So they did the big press conference. Members of the media asked questions. I saw your question. Was that in that conference as well? You got a question in? That was in a different one. Okay. That was uh, after this particular point in time. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but so I said, they're going to do the press conference on this particular day. Um, members of the media ask questions, but I'm going to request for him. So a few days before, I sent an email to Tennis Australia. I said, and the ATP, I said, look, I'd like to interview Stefano Tsitsipas. I've never met him before, but uh, I'd like to interview him ahead of the summer of tennis. You make a call? Email. Email. They, we usually formalize requests via email. Okay. Especially when it comes to tennis and, and bigger sports, because they've got a record of it, and it's easier that way. So I formalized the request. Can I interview Stefano Tsitsipas, world number six tennis player in Sydney? Is there a chance I can speak to him? It was a long shot. I even said it. I said, I know this request is left of field. I know that it's probably a long shot, but is there a chance? And they said, I've got your request. Leave it with me. A day passed. Didn't hear anything. Another day passed. I followed it up. I said, is there any update? And they said, leave it with me. Uh, Stefanos isn't in Australia yet. He's still traveling here. So once we speak to his team, we'll let you know. Mo moments later, I got a, a message saying, ATP, the ATP who run the tournament, say they will accommodate your request to interview Stefano City Bus wow. if you're on site. Okay. Probably 12 hours, you know, 12 to 18 hours before the interview was meant to happen. So short notice. Usually we got a lot more notice, but this was moving very quickly. We were actually getting dinner the night before. We did. <laughs> and you were like, I got big news. Yeah, we, we, had, we grabbed dinner. So it all happened very quickly. Grabbed dinner the night before and we spoke about it and um, went home and, and did a bit of prep. I try and when I do interviews, make it very conversational. Um, so I put a few questions down, did a bit of an intro, and they said, you get you got an opportunity to interview Stefano Tsitsipas this Friday. Um, so I went out there, Sydney Olympic Park Tennis Centre, did the press conference, and then I was in the next the next room, room next door, and then Stefanos walks in, and I was on top of the world. I mean, I, I idolise this guy. Um, I, I love tennis, I'm passionate about Greece, He's an amazing athlete, an amazing guy, and uh, it was an amazing experience to, to be able to interview him. Um, he was so down to earth. He was uh, so generous with his time. I got 10 minutes of his time, and we spoke about everything from his tennis, his, his uh, relationship with Paula Bedosa, who is a Spanish tennis player. They basically formed this power couple. So the, the newest tennis power couple, Stefano Tsitsipas, Paula Bedosa. So I asked him about her. I asked him about the Greek support here and about the year ahead and his injury. Um, and it was awesome. I actually gave him, at the end of the interview, I gave him a, a Greek delicacy. I bought him what we call a vasilopita, which is a New Year's cake. It's like the Spiro's secret weapon. The food, the, the food. Greek food, right? <laughs> so I thought, let, let me do it. Let me leave an impression on him. He's been so generous to me in giving me his time. I'm gonna give this to him as all the best for the New Year. So I, I gave him a, a vasilopita and some baklava, which are the Greek sweets. And he gave me a hug and, you know, we got some photos together, which was awesome. Um, and the interview went really well. It, funnily enough, it's been picked up by Spanish media, French media, Indian media, American media, tennis media we're talking about. Um, 
because some of you, it, it was his only one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview before the summer of tennis, which I was blessed and very lucky to get. And it was, it was an awesome opportunity. And I, I, I guess took it with both hands, but he was so good. He was so uh, engaging, so energetic, so generous with his time. And that was pretty cool as well.